talk about let's talk about X Men's last episode and how and 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 how Magneto sang enough and just his draws made me sit back and shut up. Like I sat back in my seat and I said, okay. Like, yeah, first off, what kind of freaky shit is Bastion doing in his basement, man? That, that's the type of He was going to experiment on Magneto. I think he was going to turn Magneto into one of them Sentinel things. I do, too. Yeah, probably. And then is that lady let else, him go. Is anybody else under the impression that that's just Mystique in disguise? At this point, no. Yeah, I could be wrong, but at this yeah, point, yeah, you told me that maybe like a couple of episodes ago, maybe, but now uh, mm. I think it's gen genuinely like an, an actual government lady. Yeah, okay. Be I, dope think if, it, be I, I think it would ruin it would ruin the moment last episode if that was Mystique. Really? Yeah. I mean, I guess I guess I can I can see where you're coming from. Yeah, because like uh, now but... people in the government starting to see like, oh, Magneto, right? Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, said Spider-Man 94. Bro, that I was not Omega Red. Man. I wasn't Omega ready for Red Silver Samurai. Silver Samurai. I wasn't ready for none Dr. of those, Doom. Bro. What the fuck? Baron Zemo. I, like, I, wasn't, I wasn't ready. I wasn't put, ready for none of that, bro. Yeah, they put some deep pulls on this one. When Dr. Doom showed up, I said, oh my god. Fantastic. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, but now we got uh, what, are connected though. So yeah, they all were connected, and now we got the former. Uh, we got Bo. Uh, he on Twitter talking about, "Oh, y'all get ready." Oh yeah, I think we're getting that 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 revival of that uh, animated Spider Man show. Ooh, I hope so, man. I really it'll it'll like just be whole, after it'll be animated, after the other one. Yeah, not the AMCU animated Marvel. Yeah, that one. Yeah. it'll be after hey. that one, yeah. Christopher Daniel Barnes, I think that's his name, right? I said it right. The voice actor for that version of Spider Man, yeah, he did say he would he would love to see that happen. So he's down. Yeah, if he's down. Oh, just got to just sign just sign it because sign I seen contracts. him and I I seen him and I just said, did you ever find Mary Jane? Like you're you're swinging around. Did you ever find Mary Jane? Like, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that would, be, that would be so dope. What's up, Cameron? That would be so dope to see that. This this entire episode was Wolverine doing like a claw NATO. That was some of the best act, and, and for them to not be focusing on Wolverine using him in that moment to mm -hmm. make him the focus of the fight, him and Nightcrawler. That was some of the best Bro, action. Nightcrawler bamfing everybody. Bro, and it's and from Wolverine's the, perspective. And then we saw Wolverine's POV hey. of it. Yo. I, said, I said we finally got to be in a bamf. <laughs> like first of all, be there. I, first of all, those people are dead. Wolverine yeah. was cutting them in half. Nightcrawler was cutting but, them in half. But they were pulling themselves back together. Which but is, some of them didn't get up though. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. After, He's after, like, yeah, I got six blades right here. It's like, nah, you got nine, bro. I'm He's like, like oh. nine. And, and the no, way he was just, he was just so calm with it. You don't mess. Mm -mm. Hey, you got nine. Moral of the story: Don't mess with his sister, bro. Don't mm -mm. don't mess with Nightcrawler's sister, mm -mm. especially when she's in a coma. Leave her alone because you're going to you're I'm trying to figure out over. how that sentinel. I told y'all yeah. she got one shot, but like damn, she was yeah, out cold this whole episode, bro. Yeah, Nightcrawler yeah. said, Hey, try God, not me. Exactly. Hey, but did, when Beast got knocked back, and I said, Oh dang, she took Beast out one blow. Yeah, I felt so bad Nick for Beast because he was out finally he got through to a wall. Yeah, but Beast was finally coming around to that lady because it's like she does one thing right and then puts a foot in her mouth the next instance. And in this instant, like, they got back cool. Then Beast just turned around and cause a full-blown robot. <laughs> I said, my I said, thing is, I said, Hank can't catch a break. Hank cannot but, catch a break. But it's not like she volunteered for that. Like, I think she was experimented yeah. on and then. they were. I think they were experimented on and they didn't know. Cause like yeah, when they're like they're just walking and they just turning into these things like and them then, poor what? them poor kids oh, sitting there watching TV. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hey, but what what I don't get is so they say they're not here to kill. I think oh, they were just yeah. putting on the front for what's yeah. his name, mom. Mm -hmm. Just to get yeah, all, I said, all those humans. They're like, oh, oh, wait, no, 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 we ain't here to kill. We're just here for their own good. And first of like, all, Roberto's mom, trash. Can, Absolutely. 
can can you you know you you know man, she worried about her image more than her own son, man. That was bogus. Like just go with her. If Jubilee, if you don't shoot off no fireworks and make a distraction, <laughs> so y'all can escape. Well, in the trailer, they're all like suiting up and stuff, and Jubilee's there, but I didn't see yeah, Roberto. Robert, but she was holding a card that had uh his and she name burnt on it. it. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know what he did. But, but Cyclops got the suit with the whole thing go over. I wanted yes! the black suit, but hey, I wanted the black suit too. But I'm like, do I'll the superhero, take it. Land, the yeah, superhero yes, landing. I, will the superhero landing, uh, like, like if, like if we were played, like, will it hit the same with the like the full cow? Will it hit the same? I think it was just so. something. It was just something different when he hit the ground and he just like stood up and I mean, said to me, "My X Men with his hair blowing in the wind." I had a feeling it was going to change the costumes because the the nineties outfits they don't wear those on to like the two thousands and stuff like that. Yeah, they nah. change them. So. Yeah, I figured well. they was going to go more like they would start changing and going more modern, which makes sense because the show going like three seasons, mm-hmm. and it might get picked up for more. I hope I hope so, bro. This show is just this show is just too good. Like, like I, I hate to say this, but no show has. No show should have the audacity to be this good. This show is freaking amazing. Like uh-huh. this proves that the that Marvel Studios can put out some really really good stuff when 